In 2019, as the summer season was coming to an end and fall was creeping in, Rhythm Rider and I had decided to plan a long weekend road trip to take advantage of the weather while it was still in that sweet spot, not too hot and not too cold. We had set our sights on New York State, with the pinnacle of the trip being an overnight sleepover in an abandoned state psychiatric hospital. But before we even set foot in that hospital, we had a whole day of exploring to get through, starting with a revisit to an old abandoned nursing home, and then a bit of a drive east to this old abandoned steel mill. The contrast of the nature that was slowly taking over, mixed in with a century of industrial machines was a sight to see. I had placed this as a high priority location on my map. This abandoned steel mill dates back to the early 1900s. After just 25 years, they stopped producing products altogether. This video is sponsored in part by Loom Cube. Loom Cube lives to help us create better content. They believe limitations shouldn't be placed on our creativity based on the gear we have, the light of day, or the environment we are in. With everything from small, high-powered lights for photography, videos, or drones, to products for smartphones, action cameras, and more, all Loom Cube products must fit four pillars of product design. Portable, durable, quality, and user-friendly. Hit the link in the video description below to shop LoomCube's wide assortment of products built by content creators for content creators. And use the code FREAK10 at checkout to get 10% off your LoomCube purchase on LoomCube.com. What's up guys? Welcome back to another adventure on Freetography. Urbex Dave. Dave. UBD. Whatever you guys want to call me. Rhythm Rider and I right now we're checking out this abandoned steel mill in uh, New York State. Got to be a little bit quiet here today, guys, because there's uh, there's two businesses on each side of where we are that are active and that are being used as we speak. There's actually people that are working right now, so got to be quiet. Can't make a lot of noise. Can't be too excited. But guys, this place is huge, and uh, I'm gonna do you guys up some good history in the narration part of the video. So you guys know where I'm at and what this place is all about, but it's a extremely well-preserved steel mill in New York State. And as you can see behind me, it's beautiful with all of the, uh, the greenery growing. Basically nature taking the building back. Not sure where Ridden Rider is. He's over on the other side of the building right now. But uh, yeah, guys, this is a really nice place. And uh, I'm gonna try and do this video up real good because this is a really, really nice place. So, okay guys, cue the music. Okay guys, so one of the great things about this abandoned steel mill is all the natural light. Look at all the natural light coming in and just lighten up that green overgrowth coming in on the ground. You've got windows all around. You've got some windows coming from the uh, ceiling. This is a beautiful, beautiful industrial building, guys. It's been, uh, I mean, it is pretty much untouched, but obviously a lot of the machinery has been taken out or possibly attempted to be scrapped or what have you. Check this out, guys. What the hell is this? This looks heavy. It's wood, but it looks really heavy. So if you guys look right over there, that's the active building. That's like right next door. And there's people working there right now, so can't be too loud here. There's some kind of an oven here, guys. I've been wanting to come to this location for a very, very long time. But I've just never come out this way. But uh, this weekend, Ridden Rider and I were doing a road trip in New York State, checking places out. So, there you go. Got 
got a few spots on the list. This is our second location of the day on our weekend road trip. Oops, almost slipped there, guys. Gotta be careful. It's always uh, a bit unnerving, guys, when you can hear people working, like literally right next door. back a train up into here to load it up or to take supplies off to take a wide look around here guys too much on this video guys probably just keep the background music nice and ambient drop in every once in a while and say something but I'm gonna try to do most of this with voiceover guys so I don't have to talk too much I really like this door right here. The contrast of the red brick behind the green. Five ton crane on the ceiling, guys. I know Rhythm Rider is somewhere in here just loving this place as much as I am. As an explorer, I mean, we all love all the different types of abandonments that there are to explore, but there's just something about these industrial spots that just get us going, Rhythm Rider, and I just love these places. They don't do so well with the general public when we post them, but that's when it's really more about doing what we love and checking the types of places that we love, doing it for ourselves. I don't expect this video to get too much uh, love from the YouTube crowd. Maybe I'll be wrong though, but uh, yeah, these industrial spots are big and they're full of really good photo opportunities and uh, lots of light, textures, lines, really, really cool stuff, guys.
Between 1946 and 1956, the plant rolled two radioactive materials, uranium and thorium, on a nine-acre portion of the 70-acre site for the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission. The company rolled uranium bullets into rods that were then shipped off-site via railcars. Some 25 million and 35 million pounds of natural uranium metal and approximately 30,000 to 40,000 of thorium metal were processed at this site. In August of 1982, this company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, and in March of 1984, another company bought out all the assets. The purchase included the entire site, with the exception of two reasons classified as the excised property and the landfill. The excised property is approximately 3.6 hectares and consists of a chain-linked fence area which surrounds all of the buildings that existed during the rolling operations from 1948 through 1956. Guys, moving on. What do you guys think of this spot? You guys liking this place so far? I sure am. Research shows that there are numerous class action lawsuits for former workers to receive compensation for both asbestos and radiation related diseases. And although the plant is contaminated, thankfully it posed no risk to our health. here and you got these lockers here that have just collapsed the wall here the whole wall collapsed outside and came the uh the lockers came down with it wow
Got all these leaves that blow in here. When the leaves go down and the wind starts blowing through this tunnel here, it blows all these leaves. This side has actual trees. The day that I explored this abandoned steel mill, I received some terrible news. While driving, my wife had called me to notify me that a very long time and dear friend of mine had passed away overnight of a heart attack at just 37 years old. This news hit me hard and it still does to this day. Of all the locations we explored on this trip, I used this location to reflect on my friend Victor. It was totally silent, calm and serene and the factory was vast. Also, making for an even more meaningful experience was all of the lush green growth that was taking over the plant. At times, I found it difficult to shoot or to concentrate, and I spent a lot of time here just wandering. When I look back at my photos and videos from this day, I can see a clear difference in the way I shot and in the way I was seeing things. These photos in this location will always make me think of Victor, and that is why every photo, my entire photo gallery, and this video are dedicated to my good friend Victor. Wow guys, this place is a mess. Look at this roof. I might get hit in the head with something falling here, guys. This tree, just like a full blown growing tree. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up because uh, there's not much more to show you guys in here. It's pretty much all the same. After this, I've been on both sides. So, Rhythm Rider, he's doing his own thing, so we haven't bumped into him, but his links are gonna be down below because this road trip, we're taking him here with Rhythm Rider. Again guys, this is an abandoned steel mill in New York State. Hope you guys have liked the voiceover, the narration, the history I've provided you guys, and uh, hope you guys have liked this one. It's not the usual, it's not what the crowd usually likes you guys I know you guys like the mansions and the time capsule houses but guys I love these factories these abandoned industrial spots so thanks a lot for sticking with it 
sticking with me, guys. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. And uh, make sure you hit Ridden Riders links down below. Thanks a lot, guys. See you in the next adventure. This video is sponsored in part by Travax. Travax manufactures durable, slim metal wallets and outdoor gear. All Travax products are handmade in the USA and come backed by their 65-year heirloom warranty. Every Travax design is inspired by their greater love of the outdoors. Travax products are built to be passed down to future generations and not landfills. That's the Travax guarantee. Get 10% off of your Travax purchase by using the code FREAK10 at checkout. Hit the link in the video description to shop online at Travax.com.